how do you protect yourself though even though because you're still dealing with these energies and the entities and people's pretty pro i would imagine you get into some deep sessions of childhood trauma and pain that gets released how do you not take it home so to speak as a professional um, I learned long ago that yes, we can pick up other people's energies and especially as a empath growing up, even I didn't know what empath meant and, um, most of us are empaths actually. And so we do pick up other people's energies or we take it on or absorb it. And so, um, I do, I no longer do, uh, allow that into my field. I hold, you know, my sacred space. And so I can be with a client and not pick up anything that they're clearing, I will help them clear. I also teach clearing exercises. So energetic clearing. Um, sometimes it's just too much energy. It's not necessarily that it's negative. I have cleared entities out of from clients from spaces from I've traveled around the world uh, to do this work. And that particular work, um, clearing darkness, that is more behind the scenes work that I didn't share until recently, because mm -hmm source said that was not um, appropriate to share because that darkness could also find somebody else if I shared that. And I was trained in the astral plane for many years to be able to go into those dark regions. Um, and yes, I've been attacked. I know what that feels like. I had to go, again, wow. I had to go through everything in order to, as part of my own initiations, to be aware, this is what it feels like to be hijacked. This is what it feels like to be attacked. This is what it feels oh. like to have an entity removed. This is what it feels like to um, to uh, have, you know, hooks in your body. And I'm, and again, because I'm clairaudient, clairsentient, kinesthetic, I can feel it. I can hear it. <laughs> Sometimes I can smell it. It's not. Uh, it wasn't comfortable for my human. I tried to negotiate with source. I didn't want necessarily that uh, that job or that. Um, that responsibility and they said it was part of my mission and so there are a few students that I do train that are attuned to that kind of work but it is not for everybody mostly what I do is is integration of the inner child healing those soul aspects and um, activating them and their consciousness to an expanded state of awareness. 